This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. This is part three in our series on Google Forms. This tutorial focuses on the management of form responses. We'll help you understand how to manage form responses, including how to stop accepting new responses on a form, and how to change the response destination. Let's get started. One of the common uses of forms that we use in our district is to utilize forms as a way of teach, for teachers to collect homework submissions. And so you can create one form and use it all year. And that's because the form is formulated fairly generically and students put the link to their assignment and submit it to the teacher that way. They can use the same form every day to submit their work. The problem then becomes that you end up with a form with hundreds of responses kind of all jumbled together and although you can sort them by date it's nice to be able to sort them by assignment so it's not so messy. So the easiest way to do this is to, uh, there's really two ways you can handle this. I think the simplest way is to just copy the lines that you want and then you would you would cut them so edit cut and then you would paste them into a new sheet. So you can add sheets by hitting a plus button at the bottom here and that will add a new sheet and you can name the sheet by just double clicking into the um, into the sheet name here and you can name it with the date or with the name of the assignment as has been done here and then paste in those different assignments. So that's one way that you can keep it from becoming this just long list of assignments. And the other choice is that you can actually change the response destination. So this would maybe not be as, as simple, but you might prefer to not have them all in one sheet. Like I might do this maybe quarterly when I'm separating work um, by quarter. So if I go into my form, where it says responses, I can actually change the response destination and I can make it go into a new sheet. So I could change the name of this and call it uh, quarter two. And then what will happen is every new response that comes into the sheet will come into a new spreadsheet for that next quarter. So those are two ways that you can separate the form responses. Another thing you may want to know how to do is to turn off the form from accepting responses. Right now, this form is accepting responses. I can hit this button to toggle it off and that way students can't turn and work using the form. This concludes part three in our series on Google Forms. For this and other tutorial videos, as well as tips on how to effectively use technology in your classroom, check us out online at teachingforward.net.